to try and play more of that EU style, not as crazy as some of the Asian teams in the past. Still though, we'll see what they have up their sleeve. It's going to be drop holding ramp early, forced back. Oh, and he's actually getting run down. Art's going to have to fall away. Yeah, Yuri's on the flank. Will he check his right hand side though? No, he won't. Down he goes. That's a lot of area control for IHC for the time being. Safe consider considering what to do. Looking to maybe play off of his teammates. Looks like we might be heading towards heaven here for the IHC squad unless they can do something about it. He will delay at the very least as we can see. There's more rotation coming through from Art now. It'll be hard for him to get up that ladder though. Keserato in the meantime will try to stop a plant but too late for that already. And now it's just Art in a really bad position all things considered. One versus three. Bomb to peak. They can afford to play time. Just making sure that Art can't drop easily. With all this extra time being bought, it is IHC that lock it in. USPs across the board. Save for Keserato. Could have felt something extra. Not the assist that Furia were looking for. Hold on a second. This is getting a bit nasty. With the USPs, it's down to a 1v1. Keserato with the P250. They may, send to, they may send IHT into Eco Town to fight sooner rather than later with damage like that. USPs! That one may be hard to find revenge for. Furia, never shy at all. Drop looking for something through lobby. He will be denied though. Yuri looking for two! Furia, they're just firing on all cylinders immediately, regardless of the weapon. They come in hot and straight away. And the running away will bait score to try and make a play through the smoke, but Art is waiting for him. Nothing is for free versus Furia. Annihilation, wise to the flank. He will win one fight, but with 20 seconds, it's almost impossible to get anything going. There's the headshot, but he's expecting more players close by. Ooh, they're actually rotating to B. Maybe there's a chance to get this bomb down. Surely, okay, safe is in position. Annihilation, doesn't expect he can do On it for free. Many players coming his way. He's got support from safe as well. Walking into the crossfire. Well, that's half the job done here for IHC. Maybe a bomb plant is in the near future. Now they get that second kill onto uh, the B bomb site. I was going to say he's open, but Case Serato here gets his bell rung straight away. But help is on the way if he can stay alive. Can he find a way to activate Yuri here who makes his way to control? Those flames, though, will take Case Serato down. And wow, have a look at this. Only drop remains. I that's a tough round for Furia. You've got two players stacked in ramp. It looks like they've definitely done their prep, definitely done their research. They're ready. Yuri was for spotted here very early on. Got here lightning fast. They know their angles, IHC, and Yuri will not escape. Well, things are looking promising for IHC in this game of Nuke so far. Two kills now, punishing Furia. They've done their homework, and it's straight A's in round number five so far. Five on three now with a minute on the clock. They have the advantages, but how will they play the time here? Mid to late round, will they be as strong? Art's got a scout in the lower area. He will require some headshots. Well, so far so good. Now they can't continue to engage him one by one. The Molly will try to control some space, but we can see Keserato is up to some shenanigans as well. They haven't seen the bomb just yet. That's in the hands of Bartak. But again, we're going from mid round to late round and they've lost two players now. There are still some advantages to be had, especially with this position. And that frag, 28 seconds to find a bomb plant. Art's on the rotation. A bomb site seems secure, but where is the bomb headed? What? Oh my days, down goes no. Blitz. Oh, oh, there he goes as well. Art's doing God's work here. Down to the 1v1 now. Art has all the information. He doesn't have any Kevlar. He doesn't have a kit either. He can potentially force score forward. He's holding the defuse. Has he even heard it? Did he do it while the molly was happening? Score's got no idea! It's being stolen! From right under their noses. Running towards Decon last time. Well, here comes the push. Drop seems to be ready for it as they come through the smoke. He's still got support from Ooh. up top as well. He will get orbed by Annihilation. But what's next? Three IHC players remain. Very nervous time for Furry now as they wonder what's next to come. Annihilation just flying through for his team to come out of Squeaky. And find another entry onto the site. Art now trying to do what he can. There are 10 seconds to plant that bomb and it's stuck down the vent. And all the players now on the floor for IHC. Heading up to the very top. He must have seen the barrel of the gun there and he will punish Techno. What next for IHC? One by one they go down. Case Rato has been dropped and things are suddenly turning around in the blink of an eye. They've made it a two versus three IHC. Two freer plays heading towards main as the bomb, can't, bomb plant comes through. That was not easy, but can they convert the rest of the round IHC? Oh, that smoke has gone deep. 
They're going to be able to play past that potentially. Blitz is still watching for this flank, but these main players will come in eventually. He's got to be aware of that possibility. Bartak's been isolated now. The trade is here. Blitz standing in the smoke. They don't know he's there, I don't think. Or do they? <laughs> well, apparently they had the read. They had an idea of where he was. If he did go up the stairs, I would expect a flashbang to come in from somewhere for the peak. There's the first one. Oh, man, and it's absolutely free. No one's watching the stairs. Just not expecting that level of disrespect, but it is Furia you're playing against. There's no respect to be had there. Ooh, one frag found back, but safe. Has also rotated down. And this all looking to lock it in. Might be taken out here, but no, nope, he recovers. Makes up for his missed shot. Furia now looking much more fight cut. against Furia because they have slowed down in recent rounds. Lovely. No slowing down from safe with the AWP. He stands his ground looking for more. We'll see if he falls back all the way. I'd be surprised if he did because Furia... Yeah, there appears to be some hesitation here. Now, if they lose that bomb carrier, they pretty much lose the round. Annihilation found a way in, though. And he's lost it. 20 seconds left. We see Techno still on the B-bomb site. He doesn't have the time to get to that bomb. One versus three. Again, some fast aggression from IHC. Looking for this main drop, and Techno won't be able to clear the corner. Problems ahead. Oh, my God. Yuri through the smoke. Not one, but two. Merciless. Scores made his way down with the bomb. Once again, the bomb is isolated from Annihilation. Found an angle, though, but that's the bomb on the radar. What will the rotation be like? Four Furia players remaining. Annihilation will be begging for Furia to give him an opportunity to cut these numbers down. That might raise the urgency indeed. Score knows he's got to do something quick. And once more, we've got somebody coming from up top to try and defend a B-bomb plant. Yuri is posted up, and I don't know if Annihilation can get there. Indeed, he can't into the A-bomb site, at least through Squeaky. Annihilation will be popped by a safe. Furia loved himself some hot play, some hot action. Especially Drop, who has been dropped by us by Blitz. Three versus four now in favor of Furia looking up top towards heaven where they will find two players. Another smoke towards main where the last CT lies. See Bartak having a look-see. Trying to catch them off guard here. There is time for Furia to wait, but it would have wait too long. Lovely pop from safe onto Techno. See that rotation from main to heaven as well. Maybe there'll be some baiting. Bartek might have to be the sacrificial lamb. Indeed, he will be, whether he wants to be or not. One versus four, though, from this position would be a miracle for Blitz, especially as he's just guaranteed a bait set up to the right-hand side. Here's another one, and there he goes. Pistol by Furia. Here. Yuri, did he hear something? Oh, my God, that was a big pop from Blitz, and that makes problems even worse for Furia. The 5 seven from Techno's coming through, leaving drop in a 1v3. How about that for revenge? And that bomb is planted very fast indeed. Does drop there push this and look to Annihilation's left. No, nope, his teammate will be covering that for now. Score looking for lurkers on the outside. Yuri will be found. That'll make things a little bit better now. Annihilation finds drop. No one else is speaking, it seems. Safe is in trouble as he is surrounded by IHC. Okay, Serato is miles away now, but Score is waiting, peeking every so often. Just keep, keeping him entertained. I think his job is done now for this round. Again, pretty nice composure from IHC. IHC need to focus on one round at a time, and that is a huge opening frag for the squad. Blitz changing its position entirely. Furia are often going for a very early opening frag. Blitz was ready for it on this occasion. What do they do now? Okay, Serato creeping. Great angle for him as Techno redraws his gun just in time. But that's two for two. They are ready for the challenge, IHC. And now they're down so heavily, Art feels like he has to make a play. He might sneak in. Score hasn't spotted him. But he would have to get multiple kills to bring this round back. Oh, and Art has now been spotted. Didn't realize Score was above. So instant refrag. Safe, not in a position to do anything. Furia trying to let their individual... Furia don't have many nades to make this work. Just a few smokes and flashes. So the first fight is key for them here. And they get the opening they needed. Techno's got so much to do. That's great information, but he needs to hold the side as well. Can't do that. Bartek will try as best he can. Four kills for Keserato now. Um, until they win a couple of gun rounds in a row. But I like that switch up in approach from Fury. That Molly will delay him going up the stairs, so this could be quite awkward with the AWP. 
You may soon find out how awkward it will be. Art creeping around, but Blitz has got a fantastic angle, makes no assumptions. And Annihilation will play off of that. Oh, spotted just in time, but that would be a very slow repeat. And Blitz will deliver again. Five versus three. How do Furia convert from this? Safe looking for this fight. And it's one he almost has to win, and he does. Score dropped out of the A site. Techno has to be careful, but he gets back in time. And with two kills on the site, Drop has a tough task on his hands. A couple of players low. Bomb on his back. But IHC not giving away anything for free. You can see Drop is hoping someone gets inquisitive. I will continue to, to look for it. Will they boost from this position? Indeed, they will, and there it is. Minute 30 on the clock. They force their way into an advantageous situation. Looking for more now. Techno's dropped on this occasion. Into these sorts of scenarios. They had a big boot camp in Europe ahead of this event. They put a lot of preparation in. Oh, we heard the jump. Oh, oh, that's very nice indeed. But can he escape this position? Does he have to go for another kill? You can see Yuri considered pulling a grenade out. He does have support to fall back. You can see Blitz on the high ground there. That is very successful. What a team to do it against as well. Now we can see Bartax in some trouble. Has he been spotted? Two men, three on the ramp, two man spray down. And that might be it. Yuri suddenly wondering why no one's on the radio. One versus five. Bomb loss just like that. IHC taking the fight to Furia. the entries, how he creeps around this box. That's exactly what he's doing now. Oh, safe saves his bacon. Get one foot in the fat fryer there. Blitz now. So many targets coming his way. And Furia will just get the better at, of that situation. Not sure if there's a way back in this spot. Bartak, though, will do what he can. But surely that's a wrap. Annihilation will no doubt want to save this AWP. Few seconds. And I don't mind Bartak having a look at the retake, even though it was a 2v4. To this from IHC. Score will make his way down. Decon is open. And safe will be dropped. Arch on carrying the bomb, though. They may have not seen that just yet. Buying some time for himself. But what did Furia do? Do they feel like they have to commit to this bomb site? Art's being dropped. Look where the bomb is! They are absolutely committed to this. Keserata moving forward. They know time is running out for them, Furia. The more time goes past, the more CTs are on the way. Oh, score tries to go forward, but Keserato already snuck onto the site. And Furia may just bide their time. Yuri's on the flank. Yuri almost gets the lineup. Bomb has been planted. Another fight for Yuri. Almost secures the kill. And Blitz isn't going to clear this in time. Drop gets the spray down. It wasn't pretty, but it looks like a round for Furia. They know that the CTs have the information outside, but keserato has got the headshots. 24 seconds to plant this bomb. We've got a CT in heaven. Score hiding behind the smoke. Down goes Blitz, though. Score's hiding in plain sight. Drop and get the 180. That's a huge frag. The bomb's been lost now. 15 seconds. They're going to have to frag out two on the side at the very least. Flashbang flying through. Time is of the essence here. Score looking for a transfer. And there it is. But where is Yuri? He can't find both of them. Surely not. And that'll be game point for IHC. Art looks like he's going to send it straight into the hut position. But that's a deep molly. The smoke is up. And he's going to push it in anyway. Case rato has been barbecued. Art can't get the job done. Drop looking for something. Score won't be able to deliver. Annihilation swinging up top. He's going to be real careful. He's lost the high ground, but he has traded with a grenade. What now? Bartak in the vent. Bomb surely going to get planted soon. You can see safe lurking in the lobby. Bartak on the site. He would have seen that directory, but he will deliver the frag. Where is the last man now? Who touches the bomb? Blitz is here. Bartak's creeping. Safe has an angle, but he's going past it. And IHC are going to take Nuke over Fury up. Blitz is waiting though, and he will eventually get there. And down goes Case Rato. Bomb not spotted just yet. No one rotating just yet either. Now they start to stream in towards the B bomb site as they retract from A, but the bomb still not committed. Bomb is the only man standing now as Drop wonders what his options might be. Two versus five. This has not gone the way Fury were hoping just yet. IHC never bought the bait, never rotated away from their three B stack that they were confident in. Now they do start to adjust. Yuri could find a timing window. He'll look for this fight towards short. But now that he's been spotted, IHC will be a bit more comfortable. Player rotating into CT to make sure he can't flank. They've even spotted the bomb towards B, so the adjustment will come through. And drop should have almost no chance here. 
Kills at best. Some extra money in the bank is all he can aim for, but that won't be allowed either. A clean sweep in the pistol for IHC. Sloppy, I'm not too fussed. Here's Annihilation jumping up early, landing the shot, not the frag. Art already in connector. All action at the start of this one. Such a fast round. Annihilation hopping from the window to the short position. Didn't see a player running to Con. Furia, do this fast. We all know it. Hard to stop it though when you're the ones on the server. Scope has been heard by Art. Will he go for a wall bang here? Art's gonna peek into them. There will be a trade. That's favorable though for Furia. That's even better. Painful existence in this round for IHC. 1v2 now for Scott. No kit. Who we heard backing away by safe. He's on the chase now. I think Scott's heard this as well. All right, we'll see if he can rescue the AWP, but man, what a brutal first round. Again, Furia, business as usual. Lightning fast into connector. One shot's fired, Bartax rotating with the scout now. 15 seconds of blood, the bomb being delayed by the scout, which is still alive. Scores just waiting to swing. The bomb carries in the corner, but they're still getting the kills. Techno, oh. the target priority, the discipline, no going way. for the carrier. Absolutely brutal. He's done the job, or has he? No, he hasn't. He saw the gun barrel, surely. Okay. And now he's going to keep his cool. In behind them, should get two hit. Lovely. They deal with the connector player as well. And, uh, well, they've been putting the trash compactor for this round, Furia, but it's still dangerous. Keserato is lurking, and we know he can be a problem. Score's got a great angle on drop, though. There's no way drop survives this. There's no way he can possibly look at this angle. He will get one bullet off, though. In case Rato's left to do as much damage as possible, but they know where he's coming from. So it might be limited, but you can take nothing for granted when any Furia player is alive. Just sub one minute. He's made a step, though. That's the information IHC needed to try and limit the bleeding, and they'll do exactly that as well. Four players on ramp as they start to swing onto Bartak. Arts will lead the charge now, opening up the frags, abusing the numbers game. Do IHC continue to push it? They've really got to think about what they do with their economy at this point. Four versus three. Blitz still looking for something hard on the stairs. Art with a very cheeky peek. I thought he had that one, but apparently not. Drop will pick up the slack, though. Score and Techno look like they're at risk of losing everything in this round as the harassment continues from Furia. I thought it was the save call here, but they're actually sticking around. Still a decent amount of time left on that bomb. But if they don't get a fight soon, it might be over. Molly hasn't forced Yuri out. It does eventually work out, but this time is too far gone. Score again having a strong start here on this map, but not enough this time round. Furious A play effect. Annihilation waiting at CT. Blitz creeping around the smoke. That's a huge frag for safe. Now they've got options for the plant. AWP rattling off. Still one in Palace being held by drop. A lot of numbers in the same area. Score with a nice breakdown and here's Bartak as well. Look at the kill feed. Safe has got so much to do. The trade here from Annihilation. Two will survive and that will have to be enough for IHC. But sometimes when you take a risk like this, you're going to get it wrong. And now Drop might have the chance to deny some of these saving players. Oh, Techno will come in from above. He'll take that. AK upgrade. Bomb is just now being planted. So maybe IHC will see if they can stick around. But... Without finding that frag, I think they will now realize the retake highly unlikely. Techno might just have a go and see what else is going to be offered to him with a quick 3v3. His teammate's not really in position, though. But now we see Blitz starting to creep. Techno's the man with the kit, so he has to prevail here. But this is an awkward angle for him to beak. That was a close one. Surely it has to be the end now. It was almost baited into going a bit further by those extra kills that they were yielded. Now Score needs to get out of there and save the AWP. Seems he's content holding this position though. It's round number seven for Furia on their T side. They've had the lion's share of the recent rounds. Half the rounds IHC got were round one and Bartak two. Bartak here to try and help him. That was a big frag with the angles. Kay Serato's been holding. And that's another one. 25 seconds on the clock. A similar play is on the way. Maybe Annihilation could run destruction. Here's Techno. Bomb not planted just yet. That's the carrier. Actually, no, Yuri's the carrier. Safe's 2 HP, though. And here comes the grenade. Adios, amigo. One versus two. Bomb planted. Yuri now has to do it alone. Has he got the angle for the headshots? 
IHC, awkward approach for them. Not much cover if Yuri peeks them. But who will have the better timing? He's got to find two, Yuri. Starting to creep over, but Annihilation is ready. There'll be a response though from Blitz. And the CT's here, they know that connected with someone. They know someone's up there. And here are the flashes. And surely the carnage is just around the corner. There's Art finding one. There's another CT in the smoke though. They take nothing for granted. But look at these frags, they've all been deleted. Erased from the whiteboard. On this A site. You're always going to be exposed from somewhere. And that flash timing, not ideal. Score comes in from CT. That was a, an interesting setup from IA. Got the smokes out for the Molly. Score has to do his best. Eats a fat flashbang though. Over no his way. head. Oh, it's got no idea. How does it happen? And now the smoke is to his advantage. Trying to switch out for a weapon, but maybe he's done enough. Annihilation going for the flick, sees one by the van, and there are plenty all over the site as well. We see the rotation. We've got Blitz in the apartments now. So Annihilation gets smoked off. That's really going to slow things down. Blitz needs to try and play off of his teammates if he can. Not sure if he's been spotted by Keiserato. Oh, he certainly has now. That side of the seeing the position, but how about that for a swing? They're creeping through the smoke at the same time. Three on two in favor of IHG. He's still up there. Blitz still swinging, dropping the flames, falls to the flames, and that's them all done. Make like awkward here for Fury. He's going to have to play back safe alone and instantly taken out of the round. Bartak gets dropped as well. Annihilation pre-firing the smoke. So many angles that can be held around that. Four free plays, almost in a line now. Never mind, Yuri is dropped in the sandwich. Sandwich is off, the bread's gone brown. Techno looking for another one. He'll have a slight shadow advantage here. We can see his teammate will swing. Oh, Keserato okay, just always does the same. Nothing but headshots from him. Counter flashes though, that will slow things down. Oh, oh, the no. incendiary blocked by his teammates. They've been isolated. Drops alone now. He's still alive for the time being. Score being so patient. But this is a calamity for Furia. It's all going wrong for them. It's a nice shot from Art, but the round's over. IHC have their second pistol on this map. Art doing whatever the hell he can. Maybe a few extra kill rewards coming in, but he gets hunted down. It is IHC. This looks like a quick B play. Blitz will go down, but the B site is actually a little exposed right now. Okay, well, maybe a bait and switch. They have lost a player very expensively, though. All right, this one seems to be calamity for IHC as well. A drive beacon to connector and a heavy loss. Two versus five. They have the bomb in their hands. They don't have much else. Well, now they know where he is. Oh, well, there's not one but two of them. The trade will be there eventually. Yuri trying to trade one back, but Techno is here. Now Yuri's somewhat stuck. And look at them. Look at them swarming all over the site. He gets a great 1v1, but Techno's here to trade. Someone's got to go and rescue the bomb. That'll buy some time. Score maybe looking for a flank now. See what he's able to do. Where does the plant go? They've got a smoke up on top connector, so the short plant should be okay. On this occasion, it will be. Both players in CT drop and K Serato. Drop needs a headshot. Spotting some players falling Ooh. back. Talk about headshots. Annihilation with the Desert Eagle. IHC back in the lead. Again, nothing taken for granted whatsoever. He's going to die. Oh, long. dear. What's he doing? With some good timing, they can pop into jungle if they want to. The pop flashes are here. The chain flashes, the grenades. Techno taking all kinds of grenades. And the Ooh. trades here from Keiserato. Perfect. Two frags. Man advantage for Furia as they press on. Where is he headed? It's all the way default. around, surely not. Yeah, what are they going to do? They don't really have any of the angles now or any of the grenades, so they're going to have to frag out before the CTs get there. They've lost all position. They've lost all position. Case Rato with another. They'll take all the kills. Are they on the bomb, though? Indeed, they are. Furia with the retake. In they go. Two passing out. He saw the shadow. Well, Techno's going to get dropped, but surely this flank can do Scoped. something. Has he heard the scope? No, he's busy. Oh. They're making a play. Score blind and taken down. Eventually, Art will be served more. Rather you than me, IHC. This is such a fast-moving round. Oh. Trying to play Furia at their own game. Blitz is turning things around. Two kills round connector. Two on two. There's so much time on the clock as well. AWP on that short position. Case Rato creeping forward. He's in a sandwich. Trying to fall back. These angles are so awkward for all concerned at this point. Safe goes down. They know where Case Rato is. This has to be a huge clutch for him. But he turns with a grenade in his hand. Bob's taken a risk. He's moved further into the apartments. Hasn't seen anyone. So they've made the right commitment. That's a perfect flash, though. But there are still trouble here for IHC. Art in position. Takes one in the head through the wall. And another one. Three players down. And this round might be over. But the time on the clock is crucial for IHC. K 
Keiserato does what he can, but they all fall eventually. They could lose it in and two. And the split is here as well. Blitz has made his way up short. He is engaging at the moment, but here comes the all the IHC players for drop. He will be traded, and that might be the bombsite loss. Or is it? Keiserato is here. Sees Annihilation, but can't do much about it. There's no kits for Furia. Do they no keep kits. pushing? Do they keep pushing? They could lose everything. They have to call it here, surely. There's nothing else they can do in this round. They have to concede match points to IHC. And the exit kill comes in. Safe can't save the money. Terrible for Furia. Furia will do what they can. Swinging in mid. Art has one above him, one in front of him. The flashes continue. They've taken this round by charge. Five versus two now. Annihilation misses the flick. Is it nerves at match point or is it just a strong fury up? The round's not over just yet though. Annihilation's still alive. There's one more to go. Score lurking on the A bomb site. Two versus three. Hold on a second. Bomb is firmly in mid, but safe is on a flank. This is free all day long. Annihilation's so low, he can't do anything. That could be quite something. He could really maim the defenses here. Two separate angles. Oh, he jumps out into the open arms of safe. Look at the slow creep towards connector. Drop has a laser focus though. And look, the angle from score. What a headshot from him. He's got a trade fragger in situ as well. There it is from Annihilation. And now we've got big problems on this A bomb site. One in jungle, one in CT. Case Rasa delivers, so does Yuri. And there's still chance though, two versus two. There's a minute on the clock here with a big headshot from Blitz, the clutch man in this game so far. Case Serato is swinging, down goes Blitz, and it's just Annihilation now. 1v2, he's got to pick up the bomb, 40 seconds. Where is the second player? He is far away, he's been tagged, but he's still standing. Looking for Case Serato now, does he read the rotation? What is the next play? He'll walk to his doom, give safe some confidence. Furia move to 13. All things considered, this buy is ass, but it could still be enough. Blitz is down. That's a huge frag in terms of a name. Techno charging towards CT, but the flashes are here. The support's here for Furia. So far, so good. Five on three. Every kill counts. Every second counts for Furia. IHC waiting for their full buy in the next round. That plant will certainly help, but this round could still be dangerous. Score is lurking with the AK. He's been taken down now as well. And this is surely too much to ask from Annihilation. Half health with the Deagle, but there's only two left. Surely not. The bomber's facing him this time, swinging now, looking for Yuri, who's alone. He's isolated. It can't be like this. It can't be. Annihilation's got one more to find. This drop, but he will deny him. These rounds are so dangerous for Furia, but they've made it to the last one. They are all over this, like the Zerg army IHC. They have the A site completely taken, but they haven't planted a bomb just yet. Yuri found an angle, but the traces will betray him. The bomb's been planted. It's got to be now for Furia. Techno and Keiserato creeping around CT. There's no flashes. It's going in dry, Techno, and he will be denied. Maybe there's a chance for Furia to hold on to this. The man advantage is here. Annihilation, though, is waiting with the AWP. Three moving in from CT. Grenades to try and create some space, but the Riflers are here as well. Looking over the smoke, Bartak can't deliver. Two versus four now, make it one. Down to Annihilation again. So many angles. He's running away, but it's the last round. So I don't know what happened there. The secondary orb now investigating. There's a run boost ready. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work properly. And Annihilation just goes falling into the waiting arms of Art. Well, that's the start Fury needed. Taking control as soon as overtime starts. Run boost collapsing like a house of cards. I think Bartak has to be the playmaker here. Snuck out onto A. They haven't even got the bomb. They might have got to win by up. elimination at this point, the way things are going. They're so far away from that bomb. They might have to prey on the rotation coming their way. Have they seen Bartak? Oh, he's going to get the trade. But Keiserato comes straight back. And Score isn't even going back for the bomb. He's looking for fights. Gets the first, but goes back. He knows where one of the two... 14 seconds on the clock. That clock is really ticking. Easy one for Keiserato. The lineup is not difficult with those boxes. Shifted setup. 
Furia leaving A pretty exposed right now. Oh, the timing. There are so many people in Connector, but it might just work out for him. Surely the bomb's on the radar there. The flash is here as well, Scott. In no man's land, Kesarasso just waiting for the next. Blitz punished as well, no clutch for him this time. Five unanswered frags by Furia, two for two. They're taking over now in overtime. Again, if Furia were to win this one in overtime, we would still have Anubis to the side. But again, those orcs making the difference. Art with an opener alongside safe. IHC losing players far too early in the round. They've completely lost control in overtime, being punctured like footballs. And they do not have an answer, IHC, from round to round. Furia in full control now. Back in the comfort zone, back in the driving seat. There's the spray downs. Leaving Techno as the last man, far away from the bomb. They will get nothing from this T-side IHC. They're going to have to do things the hard way. Let's not forget how they struggled at the beginning of their CT side. Will the same happen again? They won't be too concerned with Connector going into A for the, for the short term, which, which can allow Bartak to activate. He's going to see so many players here. Oh, he's missed the first one and the second. This is not the time to capitulate. What a disaster. That could have been tremendous. Instead, it was disastrous. And it looks like the end of the line on Mirage. So much opportunity snatched away. Techno will rue what could have been in this round, what could have been in this game. Furia are back with a vengeance. They force Anubis. Oh, a couple of players on B for IHC, but the play already coming at them. Techno needs to be careful when he gets run down early. Furia wasting no time to make this play on the B site, and Yuri just goes leaping into the action. Instant 3K on the entry, and IHC are not looking good in this pistol. Smoked out of the bomb site for the remainder. The jewelies are here, but I think this might be a bit too much to ask for IHC. They took both pistols in the last map, and it seems they may lose the first one on Anubis. Bartak being flanked by K Serato. Will be shot in the head though as he starts to turn around. So the Molly comes in, the smoke comes through, and Annihilation can't find an early fight. And now it's close quarters combat with the Orc. He wants to go back. There are multiple people here though. Drop really ready. That last map put years on drop in a good way. And they'll still be at advantage here. This will really be the maximum test for IHC. Psychologically overcoming that last map and having to now beat Furia on Anubis. It's going to be a rich experience for them either way. Difficult retake here on A. Fury are so established. They've got the smoke up now. A Molly burns Bartak alive. And that alone should confirm it. IHC decide they cannot afford to take this risk. And score might not even get out. It's a long way to run. He's going to be stuck on that right side. So this will be a curious one. This is easily the best start that Furia have had, although now there's opportunity for score. If he can find another angle or keep himself alive for now, how does he make this work out for him? The pistols will run distraction, but can they get an Ooh. AWP going again? Still stuck in what? the smoke. Oh, that's a team kill from Safe on to drop. And now the bomb's on the floor. And it, oh, this is <laughs> Annihilation here again of the Desert Eagle. And just like that, the round is over. What's in the blaze? They actually have to be a little careful right now. Players creeping in from both sides. Techno wins the first fight. And Blitz is here alongside it. Finally, Keserato opens up proceedings for Furia. But that bomb has been dropped on B long. And there is no one there for Furia. So getting that bomb back is actually going to be really hard. They're basically committed now to this B site. Super committed. Yuri and Safe have a long way to go. And it's a very slow push. That much is for sure. Annihilation has a great angle as well. They're not going through T-spawn. So this could get interesting. Oh, just as he looks away. Very rewarding for IHC. And what can the remainder of the squad do? K Serato is still in that dark position as Yuri edges forward past all the different potential angles. And look how that kills the clock. 37 mark. 
30 second mark two versus four CT's trying to come back though He's just sending it, Blitz, but hold on a second. They've all died. Bartak trying to enact revenge, but with a minute 40, there are five players alive, and only one of them is on IHC. Wow. I wanted to say, all right, let's see if Fura can bring back that momentum they had earlier. I think it's really important they do. But the round is, well, is it over? They're going towards Annihilation. They're going in his direction, and uh, they will finish him off as well. That was Lightning Fast and Plant the Bomb. Three kills. Score not taking the bait. It's still killing time, though. Down goes drop. Are they fully invested in this? They're losing everything so late. You have to wonder about the timing on that one. Poking, prodding, dying on the bomb site. Might be ready on this A site now. Oh, if only. <laughs> if only. But when you're up against Keiserato, that's going to be real hard. So they're gaining position and losing it at the same time. And I think it might be lost at this point. Annihilation with the AWP again takes one in the face from Yuri. And they get popped one after the other. Minute 20 on the clock. 1-2-2 two, two set up. Oh. But that one has been dropped by Keiserato on the A-bomb site. Quick rotation, but the flashes is glorious and so is Keiserato. That was sublime fragging by him. And he has single-handedly almost won this round. Great support into the last round of the half. Keiserato straight through the smoke. Bartak goes down. Action at mid, but it is still good enough for Furia. Yeah, being careful. Annihilation with the Desert Eagle again. He'll be extinguished on this occasion. Now it's just Techno between Furia and nine rounds in the first half. Plenty of time. And there's that final frag. So nine rounds. The tension that we've had. I do wonder if there's a hard read here as the grenade sails in. We'll do some damage, but the pistols will have to do the rest. Furia doing nice work at the moment. Case Rato trying to do more. Look at these trades. Down to a 2-1-2 now as Blitz tries to cut off the rotation, but he doesn't make the connection. He will entertain Yuri, though, who is up for the challenge. Blitz has the extra bullets. He rings the bell, and Yuri's like, nope. 2 HP and 5. Wow. I've got more fingers than Furia have health. Oh, Bomb's trying to go back, but safe is going to get her in time, oh. and still Techno turns it round. Yuri on two health, trying to get back to B. Techno's alone right now. He's alone, and he's got to be careful. Oh, he is going to win the fight in the end. I see just about hold on. Techno... Oh, they've seen, they've seen the AWP now. They know the AWP is there. They forced him away. Talk about urgency. IHC are on fast forward into the A bomb site. Surrounding it, but he needs to find Keiserato, who's got a 1v1. Found another one as well. Looking for a third, but it's not to be. Three on three, plenty more action to come. Now save activates and drops Blitz. Advantage for the time being. He's got a great angle as well, and Techno will be denied. And I still waiting, still creeping. There goes one. The transfer from Annihilation. He's seen drop as well. He could actually do this. Drop doesn't have a kit. He's got to go fast. He's heard him, and he's found him. What a monstrous clutch from Annihilation. No nades yet. They go and try. Hey, with score first. Take the straight fragger in red HP. That it becomes extremely awkward immediately. And how does the orb go in behind him? This could collapse completely for IHC. I don't know how they can make this one work, especially a man down now. But somehow he manages to find the peak. The bomb's been dropped in the meantime. Yuri must deliver, but Bartak will take over. AWP planting the bomb. Bartak trying to cover. That's some information at least. They know where half the players are. Kei Serato will deliver the rest. Scores lurking around that mid position. Yuri got to be careful. Throwing these grenades. Forces the swing back and takes it. But he will be traded. Drops in trouble with the FAMAS. And it's done again. Look at the desperation from Art. They can't keep losing like this. But they are. This has got to be a pause. I think this has to be a pause now. Is this going to be an A play? There's a lurker outside in Bartak. They're smoking off the rotation. Drop realizes there could be some trouble here. Trying to spray, but now Keiserato has got so much to do. We know he can. There's the first one. There's the second. One more to go. Blitz is just creeping by the boxes. Grenade's being thrown, but he goes down eventually. Has he bought enough time, though? Three on three. Bartak has the angle. The timing of that smoke was utterly brutal for Furia. Just half a second, and maybe they get a chance at a duel. Safe has one flash. Maybe they can try and flash through that smoke. I think that's the only way in here. Otherwise, you're locked out from this angle for so long. Bartak's escaped it for now. He's in a different position. 
so tense. They've all got the fuse kits, but they have to find these frags. Edging forward, there's drop. Do they call it Oz based on that? Immediately they do, they back out. IHC are three rounds away from eliminating Furia before we even get to groups. Effective. Hey, Serato hoping he can work with his teammate Art and he is able to get the initial kill on the hold. Both CTs low on ammo here. This could be problematic for them. Serato goes down. They know Art's here. Hard clearing the corner and making sure that bomb can go down in a 2v3. Fury are so paranoid about the B bomb site. Mid was abandoned despite the 5v4. And now the dream is collapsing. Once again, the barrel of the gun is spotted. Low on bullets, but that'll be enough. 1v1 now. Score versus Yuri. Where is Score though? I don't think Yuri has any idea at all. Creeping forward. He has a kit, Yuri. Score's just falling further and further back. Just it's an advantageous bomb plant. He's found the molly. Will he force his way through now, Score? In November Creeping through, and wow. there's the headshot. Down goes Yuri, and down go the hopes of Furia just a little bit lower. They've made Furia so afraid of losing oh. the B bomb site that have exploited them elsewhere, and still they find the entries on B when they decide to go there. Furia sticking with three and two in that mid area, I think. Down goes Blitz, fast moving Whoa. round now. It turns into chaos once again. Bomb starting to go through, drop is utterly surrounded and it's collapsing once more. Bartak ready, waiting. As the smoke dissipates, he'll see Art through and now it's Keiserato. To make a deep run, aggression on mid. Art blinded and taken out instantly. Okay, Serato able to hold things down for now, but where is the bomb going? They haven't seen it just yet, retracting on the A bomb site as they continue to fly in relentlessly, remorselessly, but losing their lives, IHC. Trying to thrive in the chaos, full commitment from Furia on A now as things slow down. And now he spotted them. 30 seconds, they've got time to try and hunt a frag here and drop it stuck in the corner, down he goes. Surely they read a 2v1 wherever they choose to go. 20 seconds, so they've got to find that frag. Safe has a great angle, but we've seen some nasty peaks before. This time from Blitz. Annihilation's got to move forward, and now Safe will dance. Five time for that rotation, or will he? Immediately fragged. 1v1 now as that bomb's about to get planted. Yuri running over. No time for the molly, or is there? Lionation's nation got to be careful. Behind the boxes, straight in the face, and they've done it! They've done it on Anubis! They've eliminated Furia! IHC make it to groups of Caterpillar!